Hello YouTubers, hello everyone. It's good to be back again once here. Um, here, right, we'll be doing some cool stuff today. Um, as I did mention, we'll be continuing with the Windows series and um, basically I'm going to drag that mind map, mind map out. You can see we had covered the uh, adding computers, we we'll covered the password policy. Today we'll be looking at uh, Kerber Roasting, doing some Kerber Roasting. And I'm just going to take that one. Then the next session we'll be doing ASP rep um, roasting, ASP rep roasting, cool stuff. And unconstrained and constrained delegation that's still in ticket granting tickets and doing some past the hash attack stuff. And maybe towards the ending part to be dumping credentials basically around that stuff and attempting authentication. So let's quickly take this off. And um, the environment for today, we have a Windows server, which is this server 2008. R2 standard then we have a computer connected to the domain so we can see this guy over here or this user over here is a user smonk smonk is a member of the domain so this is actually a domain computer if I go in the active directory here just to show you we can see we've got a bunch of servers so this is actually uh, simulating this server here with a user logged in and the user that is logged in is a uh, smonk. Uh, will, will it someone um, down? I think. Uh, let me just see if I can IJKL and then OPQRS. <laughs> Do not mind me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just being a jerk. <laughs> okay, smonk will be here. Yeah, Scarred monk. So that's the user over there. Okay, so we will see um, what the attack we're simulating is we've been able to hack this box and we have the credentials for this user with the username and the password. Uh, we will use that as a start, but uh, in more details, we'll add a computer account and we use that to carry out the activity which we want to do. I think we can just add a computer account and use it without having to touch that user since we're already connected to the same network that the domain controller sits on. So let's go play with it that stuff we'll be using in here in the folder you can see i'm in this impact folder and right here i've got uh, this uh, suit in the example folder so we'll be using the particular one to add the user uh, python we will um uh, python 3 add computer we'll be adding computer accounts which we'll be using to conduct the uh attack that we'll be conducting today so let's add this uh, this CIP is 192.168.8.160. Then we will also need to add the domain name cptsecure.org, I believe. Then we'll pass in the username which we've stolen. In this case, it's smonk. <laughs> okay, smonk is the victim here. Okay, smonk. Then uh, we'll add in the password of smonk, which we also have been able to crack. That's a strong password, actually. <laughs> you don't mind me just fooling around. Then we'll add the computer account. We're adding a computer name, sorry. The computer name will add uh, maybe server uh, 01. Then we need to put maybe SRV, just add that dollar name by the side. We'll be using that so to state it's a computer account, the dollar sign. Then we'll add a computer computer pass uh, let's just make it a strong password let's add a four to it that, that looks pretty strong much stronger than the other one okay let's run this successfully so we'll be able to add that now we'll be using our accounts our computer accounts to conduct this attack so we can probably hide under all these uh, detection guys looking out for us so what we'll do at first is to try and list all the SPNs using the computer account which you've added and see if we can do that so I'm going to clear the screen Python again 3 and this time we'll be using the particular module which is the get user SPN so we'll be working with this then we'll pass the domain name then after the domain name, we can still pass the computer account, which is what we want to use this time. If you remember, S, oh man, ERV, I think. That's the computer account. I hope that's right. I, I cannot remember what I put. I can always go up to check. <laughs> okay, then we can pass the password. One, two, three, four. A strong, super strong password. Now, the last thing we need to pass is the DC 
IP 192.168.8.160 then let's see if we can list okay great so we're listing we can see there's HTTP uh, the server HTTP the server as well this particular one is Vagrant the user this is smonk the user which is the user which we stole actually then we can see a bunch of all these random stuff the password last sets this is 2017 this is pretty old i may be tempted to want to go after this it might be easy to crack <laughs> okay then this one is more recent but we'll grab both hashes and try to use hashcat to crack both hashes so what we're going to do now we'll try and see if we can maybe extract the hash still using the same module but we'll pass uh, maybe the request flag see if we can great so we can see the hash here for vagrants then the hash here for whatever this person is so we're going to extract this hash and save them out in the file let's see uh, if i can clear this i'm going to run the same command request then i'm going to extract the out file i think i can use the command the uh, switch out file to save this out i think it's out put file to correct myself over there i hope that's it if it's not i'll probably try again then i'm going to save this out into uh maybe home uh cyber citrix documents mm, i can save it in here i'll call it maybe just a random name um spn.hash that looks fine let's see okay uh it didn't return anything i hope we're able to collect that hash to verify i'm gonna go here uh just exit this thing i'm not gonna use a mix of console clear this thing see the home cyber citrix documents okay in here we should have uh, cut the content of spn hash so we have those hashes in there now we're going to try to see if we can crack these hashes using hashcat i'm not sure i have hashcat on this box if i don't that's boo <laughs> Oh, damn, it's not here. Okay, I'm going to try and get it on this box. Then try to crack this hashes right here on the fly. See if we can grab the passwords. And I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so we have Ashcat installed now. I'm just going to run the command. Basically, um, this is the command um, using the method 13100, which is actually the format for um, the um, SPN hash, which we intend to crack here, as it's been saved. And we're using the rocky.txt. Uh, dictionary to crack against this thing so let's see if we're able to crack this and find the password of this account which you probably grab the hashes okay so uh, a cracking is done basically we run the command against it and uh, there you have it hash cats with uh, forcing this to run using the particular method for the SPN hash then we're passing the file then also passing the dictionary uh, rocky.txt and we're able to quickly crack this first one with password vagrants uh, vagrants and um, we can go on with this cracking all the other ones basically just following the pattern to crack this stuff and we could crack all the hashes that we've captured basically and uh, have that passed on into uh, a file that we can now probably attempt those passwords maybe a password spray using metasploits spray all the bunch of usernames we have against this password and find other users with the same password and have fun around the domain but i'm going to cut this here today well um it's been fun i hope to see you in the next recording where we'll be looking at um as rep rusting pretty cool stuff we'll be trying to see if we can extract um, account hashes as well as doing some np user accounts to display basically all that stuff authentication not uh, uh, validated for cables and um, i hope that will be fun as well just like this one is and um, see you in the next session i'm actually may, may have to just shut down my environment <laughs> this is pretty uh my target i don't want this to go beyond 10 minutes and i think i hit that mark thanks guys see you in the next recording yeah bye